Good morning. Welcome to Sunset Studios. My name is Nancy and today we are going to make this really cute frog. And of course we start as usual with a rock. This is, you know, any shape rock will work with this design, though a long skinny rock is not as good this time as a more circular rock. Okay? And um, we're going to start. I think I'll hold the rock. I already very roughly penciled it out because um, sometimes it's just easier to go over. I'm going to start with the eyes and then go right up. And the eyes are big, as you can see that. So nice big eyes. And then come out a little for his face, go back in. And on this one, again, we come in, we go out, and that's pretty good for a first rough sketch. My next step is I'm going to take this green paint. This happens to be a new shamrock, it's called. Whoops, that's kind of a lot. Um, but whatever green you have on hand will work. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna paint this whole design green. Now I could have drawn in the eyes and just painted around that white, or, you know, because it's already white, just painted around the it and kept the green. But I just decided it's a little easier just to go through and paint the whole shape green. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish this up and I'm going to dry it and add a second coat of green. Okay, I've put my two coats of green on my frog and now I'm going to just go in with my thinner brush and I'm going to simply paint the eyes and I'm gonna make them just big and rounded may have used a little too much white here, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And I'm basically just taking up the whole eye space with the circular eye. And you just want them to stand out because really there's not much else to do on him. So the eyes are important. Okay. The next step would be really to take my paint pen and I'll hold it here and I'm just going to go right around the shape and this will make the design pop. And I'm going to dry those eyes and go, and then I'll come back and finish work with the paint pen. Okay, I'm back with my frog who is ready for finishing touches on his, oops, his eyes. He's going to get outlined. I did a second coat of the white and go. Okay, now he does have a nice big smile. The last frog I made on my last video, he didn't have as big a smile. So this guy is going to have a big wide smile. And then with my paint pen, I'm going to do his eyes. Just like that. And I want to do some dots on his body to make it look a little more realistic. This green may be a little different than on this sample, but that's okay. I'm just going to put dots wherever. And I just think that really adds a bunch to it. And 
see a few dots coming down here. And maybe a couple more. And there we go. The only other thing that I would like to add are the little bees or flies above him. Because after all, a frog always has flies. So I'm just gonna make a straight line and then I'm gonna do his wings, which really just come right out from the line and then the antenna, just like that. So easy, a fun little bug to make. Wings, looks almost like a B when you're making it, a capital B. And then I'm gonna do one more here. And this is really nice to have the paint pen to do that. And there we go, we are finished. I hope you enjoyed this video on making a frog and you will give me a thumbs up and share the video and encourage your friends to watch. Take care.